Kenneth, is this is a week that you go into it knowing you could maybe get 15, 20 tackles with what Army brings offensively? Um, definitely, you know, obviously um, with the triple option, they run the ball a lot. So definitely going to be a lot of opportunities for, you know, inside backer wise for us to make plays and make a lot of tackles. So, um, you know, been watching them on tape, you know, like what I see so far and um, just excited to, you know, get out there, work this week, prepare this week and go out there and play a great game this weekend. From what you've seen or what the coaches have told you, what's the most difficult part about defending the triple option? Um, the most difficult thing is that it's, it's strictly assignment football. Um, it's not really, you know, you know, where you have your RPOs and, you know, your regular spread offenses type things where you can, you know, you can you be in a gap here and then they throw the ball out one way and you can run to the ball. Um, tri defending the triple option is just simple. It's strictly assignment football. If you don't do your assignment this play, they literally can bust one for a touchdown. So everybody has to be honed in on their keys. Everybody has to be making sure they're, they're watching their keys because at the end of the day, like, every assignment matters. No matter if it's, you know, just taking the dive away or taking the pitch away, um, you just got to all be, you know, honed in. If you miss one assignment, you know, you literally can bust one for a long one. Kenneth, how much did the two-lane two game help from last year? Um, you know, definitely helped a lot. They were a great team that we faced last year. They also came here with some option and stuff like that. So, you know, that was just a lot that was harped on last year about assignment football, you know, making sure you're paying attention to your keys and stuff like that, especially when you have teams like this that are option teams. So it's easy to get lost um, when you're facing teams like this, especially Army. They do a lot more than as far as option than, than Tulane. So especially it's, it's, it's easy to get lost. Fall camp, Coach Cooks talked about playing the option and maybe even giving you guys a couple looks every now and then during fall camp. Did you guys get those looks just to get a head start this week? Uh, yeah, they gave us a couple looks, obviously, you know, um, just to, you know, get us used to, you know, what we were going to be facing this week and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's good, and I feel like this week is going to be a great week of preparation for us to get ready for a great game Saturday. How much of a challenge is all the different things they do out of it? Because sometimes they have one back, sometimes they have three, sometimes the quarterback's in like a pistol, different things that they do out of it to run their option. Yeah, so like I said before, you know, it's, it's assignment football, and, you know, they, they, they give you a bunch of different looks to pretty much do, pretty much just to run the same type of option and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you got to be honing on your keys. Um, it's, not a, it's not a game where you can just, you know, just – you know, forget this here and go run to the ball. You have, you have to be honing on your keys every play. If not, they can they can bust one for a big touchdown. Kenneth, how uh, they're throwing the football this year more than they have in, in recent years. How concerning is that uh, as well for especially for such a play action run heavy team? Um, you know, obviously the play action is you know is something that's big, especially for a team that runs the ball as much as they do. But um, you know, I'm not I'm not concerned about it at all. I think. Our DBs are the you know greatest DB unit in the, in the nation, and we have the greatest coach in the nation. So we'll define, we'll make a great game plan, and be able to come out there and defend it Saturday. In high school, did you play against any offenses similar to this? Um, I played a couple of triple option teams in high school, and it was the same way it is now. It's assignment football, you know. It wasn't really, um, you know, just being able to run to the ball. You got to, you know, hone in on your keys and be able to make plays. How easy was it for you to stick to your assignments during those games? Um, I mean, it was pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You know, you know, some guys have the dive, some guys have the quarterback, some guys have the pitch, and so as long as you, you know, stay on that track and you know, as you, you know, honing on those keys, and you should be good. After a game like Saturday, you, this offseason, you said you lived in the film room. How much did you learn from that game from Saturday, and how much time did you spend? Uh, I've watched Saturday probably three times now. Um, I mean, you learn a lot from, you know, obviously we need to tackle better as a group. Um, I think, you know, you know, we, 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 we had some adversity, but the thing I was most proud of is the way that we responded, um, the way that we fought after we had that adversity. We didn't give up. And so as long as, as long as you respond in the way that we did, I think we'll be all right as a group, and I think we'll be great. And I think, you know, as a defense, you know, going forward, you know, when you get hit, hit with adversity, you know, adversity defines true character. So you decide if you really want it when you get hit with some adversity. So I really was proud of the way that, you know, the guys responded to the adversity that we had Saturday. And I'm, you know, looking forward to getting out there this week and preparing this week to have a great game Saturday. Can I, oh, sorry, Kenneth. Um, how do you, what about this team gives you the confidence that those tackling issues won't snowball down the road or continue into this week? Um, you know, definitely just the way guys are hungry. I mean, 
we as a as a unit, you know, when we make mistakes, we don't we try not to make the same mistakes twice. And when we make mistakes, um, it's it's always eager to get better. And so, you know, after even after the game, the game was over with, and we had just won. But we all knew that you know tackling was an issue and the issue that we had to work on. And so, um, I think you know you know guys are going to come out here throughout the week, and we're going to work work hard at practice stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, what comes down to tackling is effort. Um, you know, as long as you know, some one guy may miss a tackle, but as long as we have effort to the ball, you know, it'll be cleaned up. Can you describe uh, the scene maybe in practice, Kenneth, where uh, you know you're coming off a game like the Iowa State game, and I don't know, Coach Stoops rolls out and says, "Okay, guys, this week in practice, we're going to work on a few more te technical drills or tackling drills or fundamentals." Does that kind of thing happen, or is it just uh, more of a mental emphasis? Um, it's definitely, you know, we always work on tackling throughout all of our practices um, throughout the week, every day of the week. So, I mean, it's nothing different for us to, you know, for a coach to be like, oh, there's more tackling drills. I mean, we always work on tackling every day and stuff like that. It's just, you know, mentally we have to hone in and be able to make those tackles. Um, and, you know, effort-wise, we got to all be running to the ball and get to the ball so that, you know, if somebody does miss a tackle, then, you know, somebody's there to make it and stuff like that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we, our coaches, they put us in a position, you know, to work on our tackling every day and stuff like that. And so we just got to mentally get ready and just, you know, lock in and make those plays. Can Last week, you try about matching their effort. Uh, do you feel like that's going to be one of the main challenges of this week when you're talking about matching the effort of guys who are running through combat drills and eventually going to be your know, servicemen? Matching the effort of Army? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not too much worried about, about their effort. Um, I mean, I feel like it always starts with us. Um, as far as the defense is concerned, as long as our effort is right, then then that's what, what we need to worry about is our effort. We don't really need to worry about their effort. You know, they're a great team. Um, they run the ball really well, and they, they can pl play action pass off of that really well and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, our coach is going to put, a, put together a great game plan, and we're just going to go out there and compete. Saturday. Is there a different level of respect for these guys knowing they are in the Army and kind of have it different than your average football player? Oh man, you know I, I respect all all guys in the service, man. Those guys, you know, they they have the ultimate sacrifice. They go out there and lay their lives out for you know all of us in this country. So you know I have a great respect for them. Even the football players, I have a great respect for them because you know knowing that after after this they have to go out and serve. So you know it's always a great respect, and you know it's just fun getting to compete against them. You know. Anything else?